It's called Shore Explorations, and uh, we describe this as a project that's, that's about community engagement. You know, it's, it's an opportunity to celebrate our culture, and it's an opportunity to provide models for young people about environmental sustainability, about preservation of our culture from our buildings and artifacts. Uh, it's about uh, making a case for investments in education, in science, and uh, in, in advocacy toward a, a better life for, for residents of the region. So a lot of this comes out of my work working with museums and communities to tell their stories and through uh, working with educators to really try to include young people in a conversation about their lives and, and really relating how does history impact your, your life and how can history inform our present and future. So over the last several years I've worked locally with you know, the Talbot Historical Society and the Frederick Douglass Honor Society and Horn Point Laboratory and others that are really interested in bringing this a, a fresh conversation to young people and not have them be on the outside but be them be at the center of the conversation. So, uh, a lot of this is inspired from meeting school teachers here in Talbot County and uh, Dorchester County and seeing the challenging work they do and trying to imagine how we could offer them more imaginative tools to engage children. So in recent years I've worked with uh, Colin Stebbins who's a Talbot County Public Schools gifted and talented teacher for middle school and a really interesting creative guy who has a background in photography who I've seen develop this this education model of the flipped classroom of course where previously the model would be that the teacher would disseminate information to the class from the front of the class and now they turn that on its head and, and they offer the children challenges and questions and the teacher stands to the side and acts as an advisor. If they're, they want to learn about something about environmental science or climate change, they might pursue it as a mystery or a question the way a scientist would. And so he'll lay out some evidence for them and have them discover it on, on their own. And he would perhaps step in at a certain point and say, if I were you, I would research this area of content or I would look at the question a little bit differently from this point of view. So one day we took a walk and we went by the Third Haven Meeting House, the Quaker Meeting House in town that began in 1682. And it just so happened that their caretaker was out on the property, invited the children in and started talking to them and offered them some really beautiful insight into an interpretation as to what they were seeing there on the site. It wasn't just an old building, but this community that really was imagining a better future for, for human beings and you know past. This, so so much of this comes out of this conversation at the Frederick Douglass Honor Society, where we look back at Douglass, you know, here in the two hundredth anniversary of the bicentennial of his birth here in Talbot County, we we had a conversation. Well, uh, we all know Douglass was heroic and great, but what did what does his life and legacy say to us today? And one of the takeaways was that we thought we could offer children is that no one more than Douglas in the history of the nation illustrates better the fact that you can change your circumstances through self-determination, hard work, perseverance, belief, imagination, all of these things that I, I hear adults saying they want to offer opportunities for our young people to acquire skills and confidence. But also he demonstrated that you could not only change yourself but you could change the world. One person could make a difference and uh, I think that I really saw that a, that resonate with these 10, 10 middle school children and they went on and made this really interesting video where they interviewed each other and uh, looked at the research and made connections between stories past and present that I think you know speak to us all. perseverance we can create a better future for our community. This was the theme of our 2018 GT program. We collaborated with Pat Rogan to create an exhibit about the local community. On Tuesday, July 24th, while some students dug through the Historical Society's collection of photographs, the rest of us walked to the Quaker Meeting House in the rain. There we interviewed Priscilla Morris, a historian, and Clay Owens, the caretaker, here they are explaining the importance of the Quaker House. A real strong interest in local history, 
but I'm also a member of Third Haven Meeting. Um, I was raised as a Quaker since I was about six years old. I went to a Quaker high school, and now and my great 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 grandparents got married right here in 1700. So I have a special love for this building. 